Hey, Zeus. Hey, Zeus. And Zeus is what? A Greek god. And they set him up as representing Jesus Christ to this day. Caesar Borgia, the second son of Pope Alexander VI of Rome, Rodrigo Borgia. Look at that, uh, the uh, Last Supper picture. There's only five people in that picture. I ask everybody, look at that picture and show me the five people in that picture. There's only five people in that picture. That's some witchcraft on that picture, because you've been in, in the churches, been in your house, been everywhere, and you ain't, can't even look at it and see that there's only five people in that picture. They call it the Borgia family. And on Showtime, they got a show called The Borgia. You know what it's called? The First Crime Family, right there. Right there, that's them. Free. That's why we come forth to bring the truth, man. Nothing but the truth, whether you accept it or not. Whether you hear or forbear. Read. Repent ye therefore and be converted, that your sins may be blotted out. When the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Most High. The time of refreshing is what we wait on, man. When the Mashiach outside come back to this earth and judge and makes war. And set up a righteous kingdom on this earth. Gonna be righteous on this earth. No more criminals. No more drug dealers. No more sickness. No more sickness. What about white people? <laughs> what about them? Well, they gonna be. They gotta serve slavery. Yeah, yeah. They, gotta, they gotta serve slavery. <laughs> then the end. The, the end result. Yeah. You come back next Sunday. Yeah, I'll give you that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Read. <laughs> And he shall send a Mashiach Yavashai, which before was preached unto you, uh -huh. whom the heaven must receive until the times of restitution. Hear that? Until the time of restitution, when he's sitting on the right hand side of the Most High. So we say, Krom of Anawa Yahweh, we say, Krom of Mashiach Yavashai, then we gonna rise. Israel gonna rise. Because the Most High gonna rise up, tell his son to rise up, then Israel gonna rise. Forever and ever and ever. Read. Of all things, of all things, come on, which the Most High has spoken by the mouth of all his holy prophets since the world began. Since the world began, we're talking about the same thing. The kingdom coming to Israel. That's why they asked him, Are you now going to restore the kingdom to Israel? And Acts, the first chapter, the sixth verse. Read. For Moses truly said unto the fathers, A prophet shall Hamashik Shai, walk the Most High, your power. Raise up unto you of your brethren. That's right. Talking about you got to be our brother. Moses was of the tribe of Levi. He will be a so-called Haitian today. What tribe did the Mashiach Yahushai come out of? What tribe did Jesus Christ come out of? Because y'all know him as that name. We know him as a Mashiach Yahushai. What tribe he come out of? Judah. Let's read it. Hebrews 7, 14. Hold that though. We're coming back to hold that. But he said, Moses said he's going to raise up a prophet of your brother. So who is he? Read. Hebrews chapter 7, verse 14. Uh -huh. For it is evident. It's a fact. Read. That our power. Mashiach Yahushua. The Lord is Savior. Read. Sprang out of Judah. Sprang out of what? Judah. Judah. That's Jacob, our forefathers, fourth-born son. Jacob, listen at this. The Most High is the power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. That's our forefathers. That's what we say his name is forever. That's who we are. We did the lineage of Jacob. When you see Jacob, you hear Israel, that's talking about us. We the children of Israel. That I see around here, that's all I see is the children of Israel. Right now, you know what I mean? So that's we just talking to us. I can say that, truthfully. Okay? How do the Jews live? Jeremiah 14, 2. So they're not bringing this out in the church, you know why? Because they're wicked. And they eat. And they don't know the truth. They've been called to teach the truth. Read that. Jeremiah chapter 14, verse 2. Judah martyred in the gates thereof language. I feel that right now, man. Judah, the so-called Negroes, man, we martyred. Look at us. Look at the condition that we in. Get us a slum everywhere. We mourning in cases where the leaders were, like we right here, man, to bring forth the truth to you. We're at the gates right now to bring the truth to you, because we love our people. Read. They are black. What cut out the Jews? 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 They are black. No, they're green. Black. White. They are black. Yellow. They are black. Purple. They are black. Judah, mortar. That's Jeremiah 14 and 2. 
and the gangster of language. They are what? Black. They are black. We are to the ground. Are to the ground. Look at us. We different shades of brown. All of us. All right. right here. We all different shades of brown. Ain't nobody the same color brown. We different shades of brown. That's who he is. And we know that his feet look like a fine brass that burn in the furnace. A very dark skinned man. That's why we're here to break down the lies of the so-called white man saying he's the most high. Right. He's the Mashiach Yahweh Shai that right. said that's a damn lie. Straight up. And he gonna be damned for saying it. <laughs> he gonna be damned for saying it. Because our people don't even, like the brother, when we first came here, what damn do it make what color he is? First thing we got. We ain't even set up yet. What damn do it make him color? He could be green all I care. I ain't seen no green people. That's what our people said. Two thirds of our people ain't good for nothing, man. That's why he's gonna put right. you to death. Right. Straight up. Whether you here for bear. Go back to Acts. Whether you here for bear, man. That's what this Bible talking about. He ain't playing, man. When he come back, when you see people dying, that's when he gets our attention. He killed us, man. We do right, he killed us. B. Acts. The third chapter. Acts chapter three. And three and what? Verse 21. Acts chapter 3, verse 21. Whom the heaven must receive under the times of restitution of all things, which the Most High has spoken by the mouth of all his holy prophets since the world began. For Moses truly said unto the fathers, A prophet shall the Most High your power raise up unto you of your brethren. See, of our brethren, man. Of your brethren. It was us that was in the wilderness. All right, brother. Of your brethren. What? Acts 1 and 21, uh, 3 and 21. Read. Like unto me. Like unto Moses. Read. Him shall ye hear in all things. You hear that? You got to hear Mashiach Yavashai in all things because he's the bird of the most high. A black man. Read. Whatsoever he shall say unto you. Whatever he's saying unto us. He's been speaking to us in the volume of the book. He's always been talking to us. Read. And it shall come to pass. It's going to come to pass. Come on. That every soul which shall not hear that prophet. You don't want to hear him. Read. Shall be destroyed. Shall be what? Destroyed. So if you don't want to hear what we're saying, you're going to be what? Destroyed. You're going to be destroyed because we're speaking the words of a Mashiach Yavashai who spoke the words of the heavenly father. See? From among the people. From among the people. Come on. Yeah. And all the prophets from Samuel and those that followed after, as many as have spoken, have likewise foretold of these days. Likewise has foretold of these things. Talking about a Mashiach that was shot. Me? Ye are the children of the prophets. Read it again. Ye are the children of the prophets. Do you hear what he's saying, people? Read it. Ye are the children of the prophets. We are the children of the prophets. Me? And of the covenant. And of the covenant. The covenant was given to who? Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, to the 12 tribes of Israel. Let's prove it. We are the children of Israel. We the children of the prophets. Psalms 105, 8 to 9, 8 to 10. Psalms chapter 105, verse 8. I'm here because I want to prove to you that we are the people of the covenant. Read. Psalm chapter 105, verse 8. He has remembered his covenant forever. He remembered his covenant, which is a contract or an agreement. Forever, he said, with us, read. The word which he commanded to a thousand generations. The word which he commanded to a thousand generations, read. Which covenant he made with Abraham. The covenant he made with Abraham, our forefather, read. And his oath unto Isaac. Abraham and his son named Isaac, read. And confirmed the same unto Jacob. And confirmed the same unto Isaac's son, Jacob, read. For a law. For a law. Read. And to Israel we are the children of Israel that represents us. And to Israel, read, for an everlasting covenant. Hear that? For an everlasting covenant to us. Go back to Acts the third chapter. Acts chapter 3, verse 25. Ye are the children of the prophets. Ye are the children of the prophets. We are the children of the prophets, read. And of the covenant which the Most High made with our fathers. Well, now the covenant is with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob to the 12 tribes of Israel. How you doing, sir? Go ahead. Saying unto Abraham and 
in thy seed shall all the kindred of the earth be blessed. Yeah. Abraham and in his seed shall all the kindreds of the earth be blessed. And they are blessed. Everybody's blessed. Think about all the inventions that we invented. Yeah, would be no horn, would be no car, <laughs> would be no stoplight, would be no doorknob, would be no gates. I mean, they have no, think about it, they had to create anything because we created everything because we had a need. We created everything mostly in this world. I mean, on the, on, even in the pyramids, on the pyramids, you'll see jets. You'll see on the pyramids that we built submarines. You'll see on the pyramids blimps. And you also see on the pyramids, helicopters. Yeah. We had running water, electricity. Thomas Jefferson ain't invented nothing, man. Most of them, what did they do? Y'all here, they ain't invented a damn thing. Think, think about it. What, you know, you know you're old enough to know. You remember Lionel Hampton, right? Lionel Hampton, you heard Lionel Hampton, the one that played the vibes. They used to stand behind him, and that's how they learned how to play jazz. They stood behind him and copied everything that they did. It's like they do everything. Jackson Five, then what? Who's Alman Brother? Right? Everybody, everything that we come out with, they have something to counter it to be able to copy off of us. Uh, Chuck Berry. Elvis Presley. <laughs> <laughs> Jimi Hendrix. Who played the rock better than Jimi Hendrix? None of them. None of them. They done come out with a new album on Jimi Hendrix, that's how bad he was. He done get in rock music. You want to know something who was playing rock? You know, all the things that he done. I mean, everything that we've done, man, we the first open heart surgeon. Black blood plasma and so forth. They come from us. Yeah. That's how they bless. Yeah. Read. Yep. That's right. The peanut. Look how, look how, much they, look how all the things they did with the peanut. You know? Read that. Unto you first, the Most High, having raised up his son, Hamashiach Gavashai, sent him to bless you in turning away every one of you from his iniquities. Right, turn away from iniquity. We didn't it. Turn away from the wickedness, man. We didn't bend in bondage for so long. Right. Huh? Yeah. We've been in bondage under every nation on this earth. Every nation on this earth had us in captivity. How they do us like that? Yeah, because we didn't follow the laws of the Most High. He gave us laws, statutes, and commandments. And we didn't follow them, so he said, if you don't follow them, I'm going to curse you. I'm going to bring you into captivity under all these nations. I'm going to give you to your enemy. No, oh, we got two, 613 commandments. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's from Genesis to uh, Deuteronomy. I thought it was just 10. No, no, no. 613 commandments. You got moral laws, civil laws, dietary laws, what to eat. To be healthy and what not to eat. And he found the ten. You know? <coughs> Ceremonial laws. How to worship the most high. He gave us holy convocation. Like he didn't, you won't find where he said we're supposed to worship Christmas in the Bible. And Easter, <laughs> Fourth of July, you know, Memorial Day. <laughs> well, that's not in the Bible. He gave us holy convocation to follow. He said we're supposed to out of the Passover and feast of unleavened bread. God. You know? Feast of Weeks, Pentecost, that's when the Holy Spirit came. You know? Malcolm X. See, one thing about, you know, they were, they were for the time that they were in, but this is the power right here. See, you ever seen Jesse Jackson with the Bible bring it, breaking it down like this? Al Sharpton, they, they the leaders so called oh, now, right? Wow. You ain't never seen him at the Bible breaking this Bible down like this. Martin Luther King. I need my little king of Malcolm and none of them, you know? And that's what it's about. It's the power is here. It's the power right here in this word. No more, no less, you know? They had, they had, you know, in the end, I think they, uh, I heard that Malcolm started to understand the truth yep. before he died. That's right. You know? That's why they had to get rid of him. Because think about the power that he had. It's like, they don't want us to have this power. They don't want us to know this truth. This a, we the hidden ones. The Dabako plan to take the fact that you are the Israelites out of your mind. I can show you in the Bible, that's what they done. These nations got together. They all together. They know. God. They know who we are. You don't know who you are. I asked 14 brothers, what's your nationality? What's your race? I got 14 different answers. Something wrong with that. 14 different answers. Something wrong with that. Right? That picture. Yeah, something wrong with that picture. Give me 1 Corinthians 11, 23 to 26. Now you just going to tell us. Think about it. it I bet you said Negro. 
I'm just, my different virtues say Negro. I ain't never called myself. My child, my, look, my child, one of them says African American. Yep, 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 yep. Now another one says black. Uh -huh. But it come from me. How was that? Go so our, our nationality all the time change. Our race, all, we the only ones that change. They had, they had to sign up, up with, uh, some kind of amendment that you can vote. We the only ones. Who? So-called Negroes. We the only ones that have to sign a amendment that we can vote. We didn't mean to call black. We didn't mean to call, call that niggas. niggas. We didn't mean to call them Negroes. They call us niggas. Yep. But and that's okay. Ask, 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 hold that. Get Acts 13 and 1. It's okay, sister. It's all right because, listen, we're going to find that word in the Bible. It's okay. It's all right. Just me, black. But listen. Acts chapter 13, verse 1. Uh -huh. Now there were in the church that was at Antioch certain prophets and teachers. As Barnabas, Barnabas and Peter. Simon, Barnabas and Simon Peter, that Barnabas, was, hold up, Barnabas rolled with Paul. Simon Peter was the head apostle. Read. And Simon, and Simon Peter, read. That was called nigger. That was called what? Nigger. That was called what? Nigger. Where is it at? Acts chapter 13, verse 1. What was they called? Nigger. They called us niggers back then. Oh, Ain't nothing new. Why is you It's the same. Huh? Don't make no difference. Still called nigga. When you when we looked up in the uh, we went the, they, they added a G, but I mean it don't make a difference. Still nigga. You either uh, you either have a long sound for the I or you have a short sound for the I. And the short sound for the I makes it nig. <laughs> nigga. <laughs> Read it again, Doc. Uh, Acts chapter 13, verse 1. Uh-huh. Now there were in the church that was at Antioch uh -huh. certain prophets and teachers as Barnabas. And Simon. Barnabas rolled with Paul and Simon Peter, the head apostle. Read. That was called nigger. It was called what? Nigger. It was called nigger. Oh. Read. And Lucius of Cyrene oh, and Me Manion, which had been brought up with Herod, the treacher, and Saul. And Saul, who was named Paul. It's called a nigger, too. All of them are called niggers. <laughs> <laughs> they just called, start calling us niggers. Great niggers. Hey, that's right. But it's okay. I thought they changed it to Negro. You ever heard of uh, House of Ra, uh, Ra, R-A, you ever heard that? Yeah, but that's dealing with Egyptology. Yeah, dealing with Egyptology. What's, what's it called, House of Ra? No, yeah. right? Ra, yeah, Ra. Right. That's dealing with Egyptology. Right? You know, get a uh, yeah. song from 83. I mean, 81. They changed, I mean, so many people. Yeah. 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 Let me show you about what the most I, when you came out of Egypt, you said what you said. Yeah. Yeah. Read that. Psalm, Psalm chapter 81, verse 5. Right. This he ordained in Joseph. This he ordained in Joseph. When he came came down, when Joseph was in uh, Egypt, you know, his brother sold him to the Arabs, and the Arabs sold him to the Africans or the Egyptians, right? Talking about this stuff with the new moon. He ordained in Joseph when Joseph was in Egypt. Right, read. For a testimony. So he's talking about for a testimony, read. When he went out to the land of Egypt. We can't went out to where? Egypt. He went to the land of Egypt, read. Where I heard a language that I understood not. So you hear what they say. You even understand what they say. So how you gonna follow them? <laughs> how you gonna follow something? Most I say you hear the language he didn't even understand. But remember he changed all the languages when he when remember I took the power of power. He came down to change everybody's language at that time. So they could, we couldn't communicate with each other. But what did he say about these Egyptians? Well, I heard a language that I understood not. There it is right there. So get about them, man. They were talking all the time. Yeah, I mean, come on. So why are you gonna follow them? Most I can't hear whatever they're saying. He had a language that he understood not, he said. And he, he created all the languages, but he don't care. Look, get uh, Amos 3, 1 and 2. Let's get to the right to the nitty gritty, because understand this. He only know you. He only know us. He say he only love us. I'm going to show you that. He only know us. He don't know nobody else. Let's prove it. Read. Amos chapter 3, verse 1 and verse 2. Listen to what he said. Hear this word that the Most High has spoken against you, 
O children of Israel. We are children of Israel, the 12 tribes of Israel, read. Against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt. We all went into the Egyptian captivity. All 12 tribes went into the Egyptian captivity, read. Saying. Saying what? You only. What did he say? You only uh -huh. have I known of all the families of the earth. You know what he said? He said, you only have I known of all the families of the earth. That's what the Most High is saying. Me? Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquities. He's going to punish us for all our witness. Breaking his laws at the commandments. Look, get asked, go, go to the note, get, get Joel 2.27. Then jump down to verse 32. But verse 32 is what you, where you get your John 3.16 from. But God said of the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believe in him should not perish but have everlasting life. You know? But be at home. Read it. Joel chapter 2 verse 27. It's the word of the Most High. What did he say? And you shall know that I am in the midst of Israel. He's in the midst of who? Israel. And you are the Israelites. So you're going to be, he's going to be in the midst of Israel. Read. And that I am the Most High, your power. He's our power. Read. And none else. He said, and none else. So he's our power and none else. Does that make sense to you? Read it again, huh? And you Because everybody wants the most high. What's up, brother? Want most high, they want the most high to be everybody's power. But well, listen to what he says. Read it again. Joel chapter 2, verse 27. Right. And you shall know that I am in the midst of Israel. And he's in the midst of Israel. That's who we are. We are the Israelites. That's our nationality. That's our race. Read. And that I am the most high, your power. He's, he's our power. And who else? And none else. And none else. Read. And my people shall never be ashamed. Well, we ain't ashamed to come forth and let you know that you're the Israelites. You the chosen people of the most high. He only know you. Jump down to verse 32. Verse 32. They got John 3.16 from Kirk. Understand this. There is no New Testament. When the ones that's walking the earth, that they're scribing, writing down what's going on in the life of a Mashiach Yahweh there is no New Testament. They only had the law and the prophets. So most of the things that you see in the New Testament, like I'm going to go to the New Testament and show you certain scriptures that came from the Old Testament right now. Now, this is John 3.16. Where do you got John 3.16 from, read? Joel, chapter 2, verse 32. Uh -huh. And it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call on Baha Shemabashekabashai shall be delivered. Okay. Whoever call on the name of the Lord and Savior. That's what saying, Baha Shemabashekabashai. That's in the name of the Lord and Savior. The people in the church say in the name of Jesus Christ, right? That's not his name. So you call on Baha Shemabashekabashai because he spoke Hebrew. This, I, this is a stab thing that I'm speaking in now, but I gotta speak in English to both of everybody. All of us have been taught to speak English. You see what I'm saying? And if you don't know Hebrew, that's why you're hearing the saying Hebrew, and I interpret it. So, because if you speak in another language, that's what I understand. You gotta interpret it so you understand what we're saying. That tongue, you know what I mean? So, read that again. And it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call on Baha Shemma Shek El Shai shall be delivered. Shall be delivered. So in the New Testament, it says save. Who ain't to be delivered now? In the New Testament, it says save. Go ahead. For in Mount Zion. Mount Zion. Zion is another name for the children of Israel. Most I call us his holy monument. Read. And in Jerusalem. And where? Jerusalem, which is in Israel. Read. Shall be delivered. Shall be delivered. Come on. As the Most High had said. The Most High have said. Now give me Acts, the second chapter, the 21st verse. Concerning the Mashiach that was shining, concerning us. Listen to what it says. How do y'all understand what I say? How Mashiach that was shining? What I'm talking about, right? Okay, okay, all right. Let's make sure. Okay. Now that's because I just gotta ask because people say I say it all the time. They say I don't, they don't know who you're talking about. But I know that our people have a zeal on sides, just not according to knowledge. You might not know the precept that I'm going to, but you can hear, and you've got the spirit of the Most High God. in you. When you from birth, you had the spirit of the Most High when you was in your mother's womb. That's why you can hear it and understand it, right? Yeah. Come on. Acts chapter 2, verse 22. That's right. 21. 21. And it shall come to pass. It's going to come to pass, read. That whosoever shall call on Baha Shemamashekabashai, which is in the name of the Lord and Savior, 
where if you call on in the name of the Lord and Savior, be shall be saved. Shall be saved. We just read what it said, deliver. Same thing, right? We want to be delivered and we want to be saved from our from the hand of our enemies and from all of that those that hate us. That's being saved. That's how we gonna be saved. Who's he talking to? Ye men of Israel, hear these words. See, they don't read you that. They just read that first part. But who's he talking to? Ye men of Israel, hear these words. Go ahead. Ye Hamashik of Nazareth, a man approved of the Most High okay. among a man approved of the Most High, read. Among you. Where? Among you. Approved of the Most High among the Israelites. Read. By miracles. By miracles, read. And wonders. And wonders, read. And signs. And signs, where? Which the Most High did by him in the midst of you. Yeah. In the midst of Israel. He came to the ghetto of the south. Bethlehem was born in the ghetto. He wasn't born yep. in Beverly Hills and like, yep, yep. he was born in the ghetto. Right. He came among us. Son. That's why we here Son. to proclaim the good gospel of the Most High, the Mashiach Yahweh to our people. Son. He loved you. Son. See? As ye yourselves also know. As you know right now, man. Give me your Romans 9 and 13. Listen at this. So how y'all dare any of y'all think that the Most High say he love anybody? For everybody. This is what we say he love. Read it. Romans chapter 9, verse 13. As it is written. As it is written. Listen. Read. Jacob have I love. Y'all listen. Listen to what it says. Read it again. As it is written. As it is written. So where is it written at? In the Old Testament. That's what you're going to come with. Is what's written in the Old Testament. Huh. But if you don't know the Old Testament, how you know where that's at? You see what I'm saying? Is it as it is written? What he say? Jacob have I love. Jacob is the forefather of the twelve tribes of Israel. That's our forefather. He the forefather of the twelve tribes of Israel. But mind you, these are indigenous people. Because everybody on the sign, not necessarily Israel. Can I understand that? Israel gonna be the spirit that hear this word and come forth, just like y'all doing right now. And it's truth, man. Come on. But Esau have I hated. Esau is a biblical name for the so-called white man. He's our fraternal twin brother. Esau have I hated. Here he is. <laughs> That's Esau. He said, Esau have I hated. Read. Esau have I hated. What shall we say then? We say, what you got to say about the fact that I love Jacob and I hate Esau? Read. Is there unrighteousness with the Most High? When you ask me about the, somebody asked me about the nation, you say, hey, is there righteousness, unrighteousness with the Most High? Read. The Most High forbid. The Most High forbid. Read. For he said to Moses, he said to Moses, what did he say to Moses? I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy. He told Moses, I'm going to have mercy on whom I will have mercy on. Read. And I will have compassion on whom I have compassion. We'll have compassion. Yeah. So he have compassion on who he want to have compassion. It ain't because we want the most high to love everybody. Because we love everybody. Everybody don't love us. Right. <laughs> about that. Everybody don't love us. I don't care how many times you go up in the church <laughs> and been getting whatever you've been getting. They don't love us. Huh. You know, I cry out all the time. Why ain't they down here doing for y'all? Huh. You shouldn't be on the street. You shouldn't have to have, have to worry about food, shelter, and a way of life. You got a problem that should be taken care of. We work, we work free. We built this place on the sweat of our ancestors. They owe us. They pay, paid the Japanese $25,000. They bombed Pearl Harbor. Then they came back and gave them five more thousand. That's $30,000 that they gave the Japanese. They ain't gave us nothing. We don't want reparations. We want the whole world. That's what's promised to us, brother. That's what's promised to Israel. If you can accept that, everybody can't accept it. Because y'all too weak. You're too weak in the mind. You'll let drugs take you down. You can get help. You can get help, man. You come off of it. Man, you don't have to. You don't have to do that. You have to destroy yourself. How you out here? I, I look at you. You ain't. You, ain't, you came out of it. A lot of us came out of it. Huh? 
No, we came for the world. We don't, don't think don't think we just sit up here. We we some holy rollers. <laughs> we ain't no holy rollers now. Uh, we trying to get it together too. Uh, uh, you feel me? Uh, That's why we can come down here amongst our people. Battle every day. You know what I mean? It's a battle. That's right. <laughs> Y'all know it. You can look at I can you can look in our eyes and see, right? <laughs> yeah, man. Come on, let's keep it real. <laughs> come on, man. I'll show you right. <laughs> real, man. I'm just keeping it real. Because I love my people. I know where I came from. I know where we came from. I know you can come from the same way, man. He ain't calling no, he calling all these holy rollers and our people think they all that. He ain't calling them. He calling the one just like you. Because you're the meek of the earth. I done seen, I seen a brother man take and say, man, dang, one hot dog left. Just touch me, man. That's why I tell the story, man. Brother had one hot dog. Said, oh, man, ain't no more hot dog. Brother said, here, you can have half of mine. And he just broke it off. They went walk their way and ate that hot dog. That's love, man. Brother in the street ain't gonna do nothing like that. They ain't gonna do nothing like that. No. We have, we have, we have, I done had brand new shoes and everybody lined up to get shoes. In the hood, everybody been on Christian King anywhere out there, they been fighting. You know what I mean? It's going crazy, man. It's an order, man, that I appreciate. Thanks. That y'all have. You are You know what I mean? It's an order, man. Say whatever, man. A lot of people won't even go down and come down here. Won't even step foot down here. Because they ain't none of our people. They belong to the enemy. That's right, them two thirds, man, of our people, they ain't good for nothing. Absolutely. They don't care, man. Absolutely. That's right, absolutely nothing. <laughs> Which is yes. Give me uh, 1 Corinthians 11, 23 to 26. That's right, we're going to bring the un unadulterated truth to you. Today. Read that. First Corinthians chapter 11, verse 26. 23. 23. 26. Read that. For I have received of the most of a message outside that which also I have delivered unto you. That the most that the power of Hamasic outside, the same night in which he was betrayed, took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, Take, eat. This is my body which is broken up for you. This do in remembrance of me. After the same matter also, he took the cup when he had supped, saying, this cup is the New Testament in my blood. Do This do ye as oft as ye drink it in remembrance of me. So he said the bread represents his body and the wine represents his blood that was shed for the children of Israel.